Lord Lieutenant of Leicestershire, honoured guests, members of the Board of Governors and the Academic Board, ladies and gentlemen, graduands. May I welcome you all very warmly to this graduation ceremony of De Montfort University, at which we will receive the graduands and diplomates for the Faculty of Business and Law, who have completed their studies in 2017 and confer on them their various degrees and diplomas. For those of you who are graduating here today, we hope that you will value the time you have spent at De Montfort University and that you will continue to keep in touch with us through our Alumni Association, which brings together our graduates from around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, I invite you today to celebrate with all of us the achievements of, of those who are here to receive awards and honors and to offer them our warmest congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Vice-Chancellor of De Montfort University, Professor Dominic Shallard. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, before I start my formal speech, I've got a particular message for the mums and dads, the brothers and sisters, the sons of daughters in the audience today. This ceremony is about particularly special people who've achieved so much. And the highlight of the ceremony is the moment when they come up the stage and they receive their certificate. And this works really well if you're really noisy and you're kind of quiet at the moment. So can we just do a little practice? So can you just imagine that I'm the person you're here to support? And as soon as I get onto the stage, can you please erupt? Make a huge amount of noise, up we come. That's it, wow, fantastic. Okay. Uh, I like the cut of this person's jib over here. Lots of yodeling. And if, um, when I shake the hand of the graduate and they become a graduate, you want them to have a quick photo with me, you have to indicate very loudly where you are. So if I'm shaking somebody's hand here and there's someone over there, you've got to scream and shout so I can turn them round. That's the only bit of audience participation you have to do. So thank you very much indeed for that. So, graduates, I'm extraordinarily proud to be here with you today to celebrate your academic and your personal achievements and to share with you your graduation at De Montfort University. And I can just about remember my own graduation. There I am on the screen, 1927. <laughs> so it isn't actually really me. <laughs> uh, white, white tie and tails, Latin ceremony, lots of bowing. And I think you'll find that your ceremony is miles more exciting than that. And like many of you waiting to graduate today, I was busy thinking about many things some mundane and some more profound, who to look at or not look at as you cross the stage, how to avoid your mortarboard falling off, and whether that shiny new pair of stilettos will let you down just as you collect your certificate. But none of that actually matters. What really matters is the fact that today is a day of ceremony and procession, but it's also one of celebration and being proud of your achievements. And you should allow yourself a moment to reflect on just how far you've come to achieve this success during your time at DMU. Now, I know you will also be thinking about what's next. Of course, some of you will already know what you're going to be doing. There might be a new job starting next week. Or you might be looking forward to further study, taking a break, or traveling overseas. It's a world that's ever-changing, of course, and many things have happened during your time here at DMU. As many of you began your studies, we had a referendum on whether Scotland should become an independent country and break apart from the United Kingdom. We've seen not one, but two general elections, with the result shaking the political establishment and providing very little strength or stability. There was last summer's EU referendum, which has triggered a near unprecedented level of political engagement across the UK. Donald Trump sits in the White House as the leader of the free world. And just when you thought that things couldn't get crazier, Leicester City go and win the Premier League. But extreme or unusual political developments can often encourage us to stop and look at the world in which we live, to look closely at the people around us and the way in which we engage with one another. Now, many developments over the past three years have been for the worse. President Trump's travel ban, growing suspicions of the other and of other people from different countries, religions or ethnicities, and sentiments of anti-intellectualism 
encapsulated by the assertion of a cabinet minister that this country has had enough of experts. As university graduates, our graduates have a duty to speak out against intolerance and the vilification of experts. Universities are a public good, institutions of intellect, knowledge creation and knowledge exchange, and our graduates are our representatives. Now, many of you will know the story of Stephen Lawrence, a teenager who was murdered during a racially motivated attack in London in 1993. Doreen Lawrence, Stephen's mother, is now the chancellor of our university. Faced with extreme adversity, she said, I could have shut myself away, but that's not me. Instead, Doreen has campaigned tireless, tirelessly for justice, and this has led to changes being made to the Race Relations Act and the Criminal Justice Act, and she's helped Britain become a better society. Doreen also launched the Stephen Lawrence Charitable Trust in 1988 to promote equal opportunities for young people. So as our graduates enter the world outside of DMU, they become representatives of a global outlook, of community, of citizenship, and of diversity. When some, of us would have, when some people would have us look inwards and be insular, I implore our students to encourage others to be outward-looking, to become citizens of the world, and to embrace compassion and tolerance. And I know that so many of them have already begun to do so during their time at DMU. I want to share with you an observation made by Mahatma Gandhi, someone with whom I've become very familiar through our university's work in India. Gandhi said, you must be the change that you want to see in the world. You must be the change that you want to see in the world. And we can take inspiration from this quote. As graduates of DMU, our students have made a conscious choice to commit themselves to learning, to grow as individuals, and to succeed through adversity. You're now part of a generation whose voice has been reawakened. We saw this at last month's general election, when record numbers of students voted. You volunteered through DMU Square Mile, and you've engaged with the world through DMU Global. You are our optimism and our change. We can be hopeful because you are making your voice heard and taking action against the things that you believe that are wrong and in support of the things that you believe are right. I don't know what the next three years or even the next 12 months will bring, but as graduates of DMU, I know that you can face the world of uncertainty with great confidence. First of all, confidence in your university. DMU was one of only 33 universities to receive a gold ranking in this year's Teaching Excellence Framework, or the TEF. The TEF was created by the government to provide, for the first time, an assessment of universities focused solely on the metrics that matter most to prospective students, to parents, and to employers. Teaching quality, student satisfaction, and graduate employment outcomes. Our gold ranking means that DMU was judged as outstanding for the quality of its teaching and the impact that this has on our students' lives. The TEF ranked DMU number one in the country for highly skilled employability. We were ranked fifth in the country overall in the TEF, and we were number two in the, in the whole of the country for disabled and BAME students. Secondly, you can also take confidence in another way, from a global outlook and from being part of our international community of students and alumni. Now, I know that many of you will have taken part in a DME Global visit during your time here. Many of you will have joined our unique, unique visit to New York last January, where we took 1,000 students to the US as citizens of the world, as well as coming to Berlin last month. So we put together today, for your enjoyment, a video from our visit to Berlin, which highlights how DME Global is connected to your academic studies, and also how you, going forward, can continue to participate. I couldn't be prouder of DMU Global, and I'm particularly proud of my academic colleagues and colleagues in professional services who allow this initiative to flourish. Almost 20% of students who come to DMU now say they come specifically because of the DMU Global scheme, which gives you all an opportunity to travel overseas related to your academic program to improve your employability skills. When it was first launched, it was conceived for undergraduates. From next academic year, we're going to um, bring in postgraduates as well. And from 2018, we're going to invite alumni to come back to DMU and to participate in the type of large-scale DMU global trip that you've just seen. In January this year, we took 1,000 students to New York. In June, we took 800 to Berlin. 
Next January, we want to take 1,500 back to New York, 1,500 to Hong Kong in March, and 1,500 to Berlin next June. But we want to ensure that you as an alumni, as a member of the alumni community, can keep engaging with DMU. And if you want to come on a DMU Global mass trip, you just have to simply contact our alumni organisation and they will arrange that for you. We're now going to reserve a proportion of those places so that you can come back and keep in contact with your university. The final thing I want to say about confidence is that you can take confidence from your own successes and experiences at DMU, whether they be academic or achieved through volunteering or sport or through enterprise or individual endeavour. And for many of you, the choice of what is next will be the first of many more choices that you will need to make. Where you find success, there may also be disappointment and challenge. But do not let that beat you down. You are allowed to fail and fail again until you succeed. Because making a choice is not always about making the right choice. It's about taking a decision and committing to it without being paralysed by fear or regret. Robert Frost captured this notion in his poem, The Road Not Taken. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and sorry I could not travel both and be one traveller. Long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth, then took the other, as just as fair, and having perhaps the better claim, because it was grassy and wanted wear. Though as for that, the passing there had warned them really about the same, and both that morning equally lay in leaves no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day. Yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh somewhere ages and ages hence. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less travelled by, and that has made all the difference. I spoke earlier about Gandhi's assertion that you must be the change that you want to see in the world. That's obviously true. But the degree you receive today doesn't just give you permission to change things, it commits you to it. As graduates, you won't just be making your way in the world, but you will be making the world, and for the better. Amid an increasingly empty clamour for attention, thoughtful, authentic and honest voices need to be heard. Make your voice heard. And listen too. Listen to the voice of others. Graduation is change. You have taken your hard work and the fun times, your commitment and your sacrifice, your setbacks and your bounce backs, your planning and your moments of inspiration, great teaching and your own talent, and turn them all into this success that we all celebrate here today as you receive your degree from De Montfort University. This really is your time to shine. So take the lead. Be the voice. Be the change. Thank you very much indeed, and many congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Vice-Chancellor, Professor Dominic Shellard, for the conferment of the awards to graduates and diplomats from the Faculty of Business and Law. Members of the Faculty of Business and Law, by the powers vested in me by the Board of Governors and the Academic Board, I confer on you the awards to which you are entitled. Please commence the presentation of graduates and diplomates to the Pro-Chancellor with lots of clapping, screaming and cheering. Honourable Pro-Chancellor, I present to you the graduands and diplomates of the Faculty of Business and Law, who, by their achievement, have had conferred on them academic awards of the university. Leicester Business School, the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Business and Finance. Yi Chi. <laughs> Chueo Chen. Hao Chen.
See you, Chen. Swan Yu Chen. Yuxi Chen. Siki Chen. Yashu Chu <laughs> Chuan Ming Dong <laughs> Karu Fan Yao Fu <laughs> Mingbo Gu <laughs> Yai Ching Jia Hong Yu Jin <laughs> Bin Gun Lai <laughs> Yu Heng Lai Yun Lei Lai Tan Jun Lin Jung Kong Lin Zai Hao Ren Yuji Zong <laughs> Joint winner of the Acorn Prize for Best Student Performance and BA Honors Business and Finance, Boya Wang. <laughs> Wei Wang. Wei Huan Wang <laughs> Di Hong Zhu <laughs> Jun He Zhu <laughs> Yan Yi Zhu Hao Kin Yan Kun Yan Weijia Yan Ruki Zhang Jungkyang Zeng Han Zeng Lingyan Zeng
Meng Meng Zhang. Meng Meng Zhang. Xiaoping Zhang. Yan Yu Zhang. Ji Zhang. Zheng Hong Zhang. Jiwen Zhao. Zhao Rui. Bin Zhao. Zhao. In business management and finance, Shikirat Yetunde Ajedi. Haurun Duan. Daniel Nicholas Forster. <laughs> Olivia Goulding. <laughs> Joint winner of the award for first place work-based learning, William Grace. Bemisola, Florence Opasina. Harvinda Singh Palmer. Bavesh Patel. Rikesh Valand. Kianhu Sia. The degree of Bachelor of Science in Finance. Joint winner of the CFA Society UK Prize for Best Final Year Bachelor of Science Honours Finance Student, Royce Jacob. Adam Claylib. Joint winner of the CFA Society UK Prize for Best Final Year Bachelor of Science Honours Finance Student, Ryan Morgan. <laughs> the Postgraduate Certificate in Housing Studies, Amanda Irving. Balvinda Kaur Nehal. <laughs> Miriama Suraki. <laughs> Ms. 
the postgraduate diploma in human resource management, Charlotte B. Amanpreet Borle. Davith Bowen. Rowena Catling. Chesterton, <laughs> Jessica Clark, <laughs> Gemma Cook. Danielle Evans. Hazini Fernando. Megan Garner. Edwina Jaycock. <laughs> Rebecca Kudrick. <laughs> Charlotte Mann. Marta Mamot. <laughs> Poonam Patel. <laughs> the degree of Master of Art in Human Resource Management, Laura Campbell. Ishmael Dakri, <laughs> Jaspreet Dillon, <laughs> Krista Henry. Emma Louise Morris. <laughs> Catherine Welsh. <laughs> In international relations, Oyin Kansola, Oyomikun, Akinwunmi. The degree of Master of Business Administration, Seema Asvinkuna Chudasama. <laughs> Sylvia Sakubwanya. The degree of Master of Business Administration Global, Al Amin Abdul Rashid. GDO4 Charles Agbo. Okema Maria Agbokebo.
Ahmed Akbar. Walid Alajmi. Talal Al Habsi. Kerlan Balokalan. Lei Chen. Yang Jun Chen. Neha Sanjay Disadla. Ashish Didwanya. Ahmad Fahal. <laughs> Bothalegi Saranga Maneka Fernando. <laughs> Priyanka Jane. Lucita Sheen Kudathanasari Jacob. <laughs> Mohammed Ashik Kundatil. <laughs> Wanipa Lila Lekyat. Tiani Lee Shika Makol Meghna Bharatkuma Mehta. Arjun Bhavesh Kumar Mori. Abisola Ajoki Olefoy. Anis Tajuddin. Jamil Nahandrapai Patel. <laughs> Molin Kumar Patel. <laughs> Arun Pavithran. Rintu Rajan Matu. <laughs> Varun Tiegi. <laughs> Sidril Valath Sirath.
Mithun Varada Raju. Rookie Wang. Yin Lu Zhang. The degree of Master of Business Administration for lawyers, Denise Elizabeth Judd. Victoria Klenashkikova. The degree of Master of Business Administration, Housing, Andrew Carberry. The degree of Master of Science in Accounting and Finance, Jinku Fu. Linda Joy Hickson. In Advertising and Public Relations Management, Maria Despoina Faitoka. In Business Economics and Finance, Yudi Fan. In Finance and Investment, Kozi Ochikuru is Ochikuru. In Housing Studies, Claire Assain. In International Business and Entrepreneurship, Hao Yang Sun. In International Business and Finance, Dipanjong Baumik. Melissa Marlene Sandrin Gabego. <laughs> Rashida Vanderpuig. Yang Yang. In International Business and Human Resource Management, Lu Jing Huang. In International Business and Management, Fadila Abdullahi. Abdullahi. Frederick Twum Adomeko. Omar Mubarak Ali Ghanam Al Gedbi.
Jan Bau. Jiu Tiangu. Zai Peng Gu. Jai Hu. Wanipa Juniad. Jing Li Kayang Lu Winner of the Faculty of Business and Law Prize for the Best Student Performance on Master of Science International Business and Management UK, Marie Morrison. <laughs> Tirapon. Panik Unagon. <laughs> Honey Janakbai Cha. <laughs> Raj Suresh Shah. Joseph Thomas. Yubo Zia. Cao Lung Zhang. In Marketing Management, Beiki Chen. Chanjia Zhu. In Project Management, Elizabeth Ainer. Fahad A.M.M.H. Alawadi. Aisha Al Hassan. Fale Al Maghamzi. Amal Suleiman Al Suketi Ahmed W A M A Al Suwelam Dipali Babsa
Jonathan O'Grady. Jizindu Ntuta Wono. In strategic and digital marketing, Neymar Chowdhury. The degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Crisis Management, David Edward Cantliffe. This concludes the presentation of the graduates and diplomates from the Faculty of Business and Law. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Vice Chancellor of De Montfort University, Professor Dominic Shallard. Honoured guests, members of the Board of Governors and the Academic Board, ladies and gentlemen, and of course, graduates. Graduates. <laughs> My final duty is to bring this ceremony to an end and let the celebrations begin but also just to reassure you that if you didn't have your photo taken, you're going to come up again in a minute and we'll wait behind and you can have a second chance with friends and family as well. So to all of our graduates, many, many congratulations. Be proud of yourselves because we're so very proud of you. It's now your time to go and make the future. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs>